every year without fail. I always see cute things I like throughout the whole year, but then when it comes time for Christmas and I'm actually asked what I want, zero thoughts, no think, two brain cells not working. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Peyton. It is nice to meet you, it is nice to see you, and welcome to the corner. Whether you celebrate the holidays or not, it is a huge time of year for gift giving. Whether you're giving gifts to yourself, you're giving gifts to a friend, a family member, some random person that's going to get it in the gift exchange at the corporate holiday party. You're buying gifts, you're getting gifts, gifts are happening. And if you're like me and you have absolutely no idea what human beings like, it can be very hard to shop for other people as well as yourself because there are so many things out there. And so in today's video, I compiled a list or dare I say a guide of some really fun gift ideas that you can give specifically to your friends or yourself love cozy gaming. I think all of these gift ideas are great for people who love cozy gaming. I also think a lot of these gifts are really great for people who are starting out streaming cozy games and making content with them. But regardless, if you like cozy games, I think there'll be something on this list that you'll like. But before we get into it, please be sure to click the lovely little like button as well as subscribe for more cozy, chaotic content like this. Okay, I'll shut up and let's get into the gifts. I've kind of broken these down into categories, but the first category we'll start with, I think is the most obvious, and that is cozy games. What, what games should we play? What games should I buy someone? What should I buy for myself? What should I buy? Now the easy way here, and there is nothing wrong with this. If I receive this for Christmas, I will be more than happy. But the easiest thing to do is to get a gift card. Just know what platform the recipient of the gift plays on. If they play on the Nintendo Switch, an eShop gift card is great. Or if they're a PC gamer, a Steam gift card is great. Just know what platform they play on and give them a gift card and tell them they're free to go and purchase whatever they like. This could be great for your friends that you might not know what games they like or what games they already have. But I'm not gonna just leave you hanging there. I did come up with some specific recommendations for different types of cozy gamers. Starting out with people who are new to cozy gaming. Specifically, if someone is new to Nintendo Switch, my number one recommendation is Animal Crossing New Horizons. I think this is the best gateway cozy game. Maybe I'm biased because this was my gateway into cozy gaming, but for someone who hasn't already played Animal Crossing New Horizons and they're interested in cozy gaming, maybe they just got a Switch, maybe they're getting a Switch for Christmas and they don't even know yet. I think Animal Crossing is a really great cozy game because there is so much involved in it. It. There's also a huge Animal Crossing community as well, which I think makes it even more inherently cozy. Now, someone who doesn't necessarily have a Switch but is new to cozy gaming, another game I'll recommend is Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is the quintessential farming game, and while it is very involved and can sometimes be a little tricky for new players, I think getting through Stardew Valley and really diving into it will unlock a love and passion for cozy gaming. It has done that for so, so many people. It is a staple game. So for people who are new to cozy gaming, specifically if they've never played a farming sim before, definitely recommend checking out Stardew Valley. It's also not only on the Switch, so if the person doesn't have a Switch, that's a great one to check out. These next two games I'm calling games that everybody can love. So also, if someone is new to cozy gaming, I think they can enjoy these ones. But also if you're not new to cozy gaming, but just looking for some new games, these are two of my favorite games that have come out this year. And I think both of these games cover multiple genres, so they are good for a wider audience. Firstly is Ooblets. I talk about Ooblets all the time. Ooblets is a great game for new cozy gamers, old cozy gamers, medium aged cozy gamers. It's great, it's a really fun game. I've made so many videos on it, so if you're interested in the full breakdown, go check out those videos. In essence, a cozy adventure farming sim game where you collect little monsters, similar to Pokemon, but in a cuter way. It's super adorable, super fun, super wholesome. And another recommendation I have for all cozy gamers is Lonesome Village. Lonesome Village is also a life sim, farming sim type game, but it's also a puzzle game. I've also made content regarding Lonesome Village as well, so you can check that out. But basically Lonesome Village sees you trying to do different puzzles to rescue villagers, and then those villagers help you build up your town. It is super adorable and one that I think everybody can find enjoyment out of. The next category is for people who love puzzle games. Puzzle games specifically, I think are just so relaxing and so very cozy. So I'd recommend for puzzle lovers, A Little to the Left is a super fun game where it's puzzles that you have to kind of just 
fix things that have gone unorganized. I really like this game, I've made a video about it, but I really like this one because it's not too difficult, but it's not too easy. And I really do like the assortment of puzzles that are in this game. Another really fun puzzle game is Dorf Romantic. Is that how you say it? Dorf Romantic. It's a super cute puzzle game where literally all you have to do is just place these different kind of blocks. And then in doing so, you're making like these beautiful cities. It's kind of a no think and yes, you have to think about it type of game. Aesthetically pleasing, very relaxing and really great for those of you who want to unwind with a puzzle. The next category for game recommendations is my favorite, but it is the cozy chaos category. So if you're a cozy gamer, but you also want unhinged craziness, these games are for you. Firstly, of course, I have to recommend Cult of the Lamb, which is exactly what it sounds like. And it sees you, a cute little lamb, start your own cult with other adorable little animals. In the cult, there will be sacrifices, rituals, sermons, but also farming, and it's cute. It's a really fun time, especially if you have some darker humor and you like some chaos. The other one is a newer game for me, but it is called Wobble Dogs. This game is a sandbox game, which means it kind of just goes on and on and on and you could play it at your own pace. Wobble Dogs is basically a game where you raise and breed mutant dogs. And depending on how you interact with the dogs and what you feed them and play with them and their surroundings, depends on what kind of mutant spawn you're going to get. It is crazy. It is a ball of emotions. I definitely recommend checking it out. Once again, there are videos on both of these games, so go ahead and check those out if you haven't already. And my last category of games to recommend are games that are fun for the whole family, games that you can play together. Firstly, and I think most obviously, is Switch Sports. Derived from the amazing Wii Sports game, Switch Sports is exactly that, but on Switch. I think this game is really fun. You don't need to be a video game expert or even someone who's played a video game before to enjoy Switch Sports, which I think is something that makes it really fun for the family. They have a variety of sports. They are just introducing the golf update, which is super exciting. I think this is also a nice fun one to get everyone up off the couch. You know, sometimes at family gatherings, everyone can kind of just be dinner table, couch, dinner table, couch, repeat. This is a nice way to be active and connect with your family a little bit more. Another fun game that's great for multiple people. This one mainly, I'd say for couples or like friends. This one is called It Takes Two. It's a narrative game that centers around a couple who has issues, but then they are transported to miniature size and they have to navigate the big world around them. It's entirely a co-op game and you need to work together with whoever you're playing with to get through this crazy landscape. I think it's a great way to establish new bonds with people and also strengthen bonds with people you already have because there's nothing quite like connecting than playing a fun, cozy game together. Okay, and those were my game-specific recommendations for gifts, but this video isn't all about the actual games, let's go ahead and move on to cozy game accessories. As I go through each one of these specific categories, I'm going to show you guys some pictures to get you some ideas of what I'm talking about, but I can really only recommend the specific items I've tried. So everything I specifically have tried and are recommending to you is going to be linked in the description down below. Starting out with Nintendo Switch cases. There are so, so many adorable Nintendo Switch cases. Most of the cutest ones I think are on Etsy. On the little graphic I just popped up, those are all from Etsy. I found all of those just by typing in cute Nintendo Switch cases. I really love Etsy as a place to get gifts overall. However, I always would recommend no matter where you're shopping to check the reviews because there are so, so many of these kinds of products out there and some are definitely better quality than others. The Nintendo Switch case I use is actually from Amazon. It is this one. It is an Animal Crossing New Horizons case. My boyfriend gifted me this case, I think last year for my birthday. So I've had it for quite some time and it has held up very well. What I like so much about this one, other than it's cute and it's Animal Crossing, I like that I can fit two switches in here. I don't know if you're supposed to fit two in here. I put two in here. I'm able to fit two in here because I put one in this flap up here, as well as I strap one in down here. And in addition, there's room to put the game cartridge cartridges, is that what they're called? I only have the digital games. But if you have the physical copies of games, you can actually just stick them in here and we'll keep it all in one place. The next gift idea I have for you is also related to the Switch and it's gonna be a Switch skins. So if you specifically don't know if you want to buy a carrying case for someone, or maybe the person who's gaming doesn't really go outside that much, like me, and maybe they don't necessarily 
need to have a Switch case. Having Switch skins is a really exciting option because it can help bring customization to the Switch without actually needing a case. I actually don't have a skin on my Switch currently, but I do really love them. You can't really go wrong with Switch skins. Of course, read the reviews anyway, but in essence, you're buying a sticker for your Switch. So I would really say when just picking out a Switch skin, just find a design that you or the person you're gifting to would like. Make sure you get the right size and pick out what components you'd like and go wild with a new skin for your Switch. The next thing is so little, but it is my favorite thing. I think this one is also really great for stocking stuffers or if you're not trying to spend so, so much money on a present but they're gonna be Switch Joy-Con grips. I love Joy-Con grips so much. Maybe you're like me, you got sweaty hands, <laughs> and sometimes your Joy-Cons get a little sweaty and yucky. So I find that having a Joy-Con grip keeps it smooth, keeps it satisfying, and also keeps it very cute to look at. So like I said, I actually have two Switches, and I really love Charlie Brown and the Peanuts. So my Joy-Cons are actually Snoopy and Charlie Brown. So on this switch, you can see I have the little Snoopy ones. I think it's so cute. I haven't had any issues with these at all. Sometimes if I like am too aggressive with them, they will pop off, but they're super easy to get back on. Um, and I, I really love how they look. They're so cute. Then from the exact same pack on my other switch, I actually have Charlie Brown. Look at him. He's so cute. Sorry, don't look at my dusty, dusty, crusty switch, okay? I don't use this one as much. This is my dusty, crusty switch. You're not allowed to judge me. Anyway, you can judge Charlie Brown though because he's super cute. I think getting someone Joy-Con grips is such a great and easy gift because even if they already have Joy-Con grip covers, you never have enough. And a lot of people like to switch them out as well. So even if they have a few, they might always be looking for more. The next major category I'm gonna go over is setup stuff. Now, I am not a tech wizard. This is not an electronics and tech review channel. So I can't give you too, too many recommendations on your setup stuff. I can really just speak to my personal experience of what has worked for me and just give you ideas. The setup ideas I'm gonna give, I think are perfect for anybody who plays cozy games and then gets more specific to people who maybe wanna start streaming or are already streaming and making content. Starting out, I think a new keyboard and mouse set is a wonderful gift, whether someone is playing PC games or just using it for their day-to-day -day life. I will say gifting a keyboard in particular might be tricky because there are a lot of different keyboards out there. There are a lot of different styles of people like the clicky ones, the not so clicky ones. There are a lot of different feels to keyboards so if you have someone that's really particular, maybe skip the keyboard and just go for a mouse. You can't really go wrong with a mouse. I personally like the clicky keyboards. This is the keyboard I have. I love this one so much. It lights up. Again, this was also gifted to me from my throne wish list. So thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. I like the clicky style. So this one. This one is clicky. The keys have to travel a bit. It's not like I'm, it's not like a, like a Mac keyboard where the keys are very shallow. With this one, there's a lot to click here, which I personally prefer with my keyboard. This one in particular is from Amazon. It is called the HK Gaming Mechanical Keyboard. They have a lot of colors, but I personally have the lavender color with the optical red is the type of key it is. I recommend if you're buying a gift for someone, maybe get a keyboard and mouse combo, just because I think it's nice to have a matching set. However, you don't have to do that. Mine is not matching. This is my mouse. This is just a pretty standard mouse. It happens to match the keyboard pretty well, though they're not a part of the same set. This one's brand is called Sigmal. It is a gaming mouse with a pretty backlight. There are a lot of different colors. I opted for the lavender because it matches everything else, but I really like this one. It feels very lightweight. I like the, the scrolling ability, feels nice and easy. I don't think you can go super wrong with a mouse and keyboard set. However, if you're gifting for someone you don't really know that well, or you don't know their preferences that well, I would definitely opt for a cheaper one. There are so many great cheap keyboards and mice. Mouse? Mouse? Mice. You know what I mean. There are really great ones on Amazon that are not that expensive. Typically looking at the Amazon choice ones is a great way to start in case you want to buy someone a keyboard and mouse set and don't really know that much about keyboard and mouses. Another item that can be such a great gift for your cozy gamers in your life is a really nice gaming headset. Now you don't need to get super crazy expensive with this one. I actually have two options for you guys that I personally have used and have personally loved 
both of them. The first one I'm gonna talk about is one that is newer to me. I am still testing this one out, but I already love it. It is the one I'm wearing. This is the Logitech G735. It is in the Aurora collection. I'm wearing the one in white, but there is also a pink one as well. It's good. This one is, if this one is more expensive, okay, this one is more expensive. You don't need this one but it's pretty, it's nice, and I like it. What I like so much about this one is there are LED lights you can program to do different settings on this one. I really like that it comes with a mic attachment. While personally, I don't use it. It does make me feel like a fancy gaming lady, so I like it. Um, and the noise cancellation on this one is really, really good. The sound quality is great. I think there are lots of settings, except I really didn't even need to tweak the settings that much, to be honest. I just pretty much set it up and it's been really great since. I really love specifically that it's wireless. I move around so much while gaming and this one is just really sleek and easy and it is a great thing. Other headset I'm gonna recommend is the one back here. So, so good. I honestly would not have shopped for another headset. I was very kindly sent this headset to try out, which is why I have it. Otherwise, I was more than happy with this one which was also gifted to me. Thank you from you guys. You guys are the best. This one is the Astro A10 gaming headset. Again, mine is in lavender, but there are tons of colors. This one is really great. The only difference with this one really is it's not wireless. You do need to plug it in. For me, that wasn't that big a deal because the PC is right there and I sit right here and it, it, it's really not that big of a deal, I think, to have it be wired. This one's great. Also comes with a microphone. I also didn't use the microphone, but it makes me feel fancy. So I, you know, it's... It's nice, I like it. This one does not have as much noise cancellation, but you still can hear the game really well. And the ear pads are very comfortable. So if you don't really like that kind of out of body, oh my God, the noise is canceled. Maybe you need to hear what's going on in the other room. These ones might be a better choice for you because I find that these ones do cancel a lot more out, but it's really up to your preference on aesthetics. If you like the wired, if you don't like the wired, both really great options and both look super cute. So the next item, we're kind of getting into like more streamer centric territory where things can get a little bit more pricey, but they don't need to be. Really with everything I'm pointing out in the next couple categories, it's totally up to you on the price that you want to put into a setup. You can have a great setup for $50 and a great setup for $1,000. Just go product by product to find what's going to be best for you or the person you're gifting to. The next thing I want to talk about are microphones. Admittedly, I don't know that much about microphones, but I can talk to you about the two microphones that I really liked and the two that I use. The first one is the one I'm speaking into right now. The one I'm speaking into right now is the Blue Yeti microphone. Specifically, it's in white. I just received this microphone recently and I've already been loving it. It's really great. What I like so much about this microphone is I don't need a pop filter on it. I find that I don't get a lot of like breakage or, or any craziness with this one. I also don't need to speak that loud into this microphone, which is really nice. I speak loud anyway, but it's nice to know that I can talk at more of a quiet pace and this one will really suit that, especially for cozy gamers. I think this is a really nice microphone because a lot of times you're playing more relaxed games and you're not, it's not always super high stakes and yelling, you know? So I think this one is really nice for picking up even the most subtle sounds. It sounds very clear. It is super, it was super easy to set up. Also visually, I think it looks really nice and on a microphone arm, as you can see, but the microphone comes with a cute little stand that it's on. It's very heavy. It feels very nice quality and it's just a really great microphone. I feel like you personally can't go wrong with blue branded microphones. Before I started using this one, I used this guy right here. This is the blue snowball mic. I have used the blue snowball mic for years. I actually have been using this before I even started my YouTube channel. I got this microphone for a singing class I was doing online when I was finishing college and there was the pandemic, everything was online. This was the microphone I used for a pretty intense singing class. This one never failed me. I think this one is a really good multi-purpose mic. It's not just good for streaming. I found it was good for singing and other things as well. Um, I really like the look of it being a little circle. It kind of gives me like a vintage vibe. The only thing I don't like about this one as much as I like this one that I'm still trying is I find that when I speak too loudly in this one, which is me, you know, I speak loud, 
This one does have a tendency to crack a bit and pop once you get to the top. Well, where this one I think is a little bit more smooth and adjusted, but if you don't scream into your mic, you shouldn't have any issue with this one. I think this is a great mic for people who are starting out, especially for people who are starting out streaming. This mic has been there for me through it all, so I couldn't recommend it enough. The next one I think can be good for both people who are streaming, but also people who just need a webcam. But we have some different webcam recommendations for you. Once again, I can only speak to the personal ones I've used, but the two webcams I have used that I've really enjoyed are from Logitech. Now, let it be known that you don't necessarily need a fancy webcam for streaming. A lot of people don't use face cam. And also, you don't really necessarily need it. When I started my channel, I used my very old MacBook Air webcam and still just did fine for a while. But if you're really looking for a nice present for someone, I think an upgraded webcam can do a whole lot. I think having a nice clear picture takes a lot of stress off of you. I know for me, when I started streaming, I was always very concerned about the quality of my streams and maybe it hindering my growth on YouTube because I was like, maybe the stream just doesn't look good and people don't wanna watch it. So eventually I did upgrade from my MacBook Air to my first webcam, which was this one, which is pretty much just like the basic Logitech webcam. Um, this is the basic one I started out with. It is not the one I use now, but this one did do very well. I will note, I did have more issues streaming with this one. Um, filming videos was fine, but sometimes when I would stream, this one I found did get a little bit more pixely and blurry than the one I currently use now, which we'll get to. But for a really good starting out webcam, I think this one is a great one. You can really personalize them to optimize the quality and make them look however you'd like. For me specifically, I found this one washes you out um, and I'm very pale. So with this one, I always had to hike up the saturation quite a bit to get myself looking normal, but that was something that wasn't too much of a big deal to me. However, I did decide to upgrade my camera more recently. I can't show it to you because I'm filming this video on it, but I now use the Logitech Brio. So all of my streams and videos more recently are filmed with the Logitech Brio. It is not too far off from this in the fact that it is still just as user-friendly, I think, but this one is better. <laughs> I find this one's better. I feel like the quality is definitely a lot clearer. It does not pixel out on me as much. You know, with live streaming, you will still get like pixelated moments, especially if you're like me and you move around a whole bunch. It stabilizes it a lot better. The only complaint I have with this one is where this one washed me out. This one, it has a kind of natural yellow filter to it. So I did have to play around in my settings to make it a little bit less yellowy and make it more what I like. I still like to be very saturated in the streams. I like to have a lot of brightness. So I still turn up my saturation quite a bit. Overall, I think this is a really, really great webcam. The next one is a fancy gift, okay? The next one is a fancy gift, but a really fancy gift you can give someone is a chair. Now, I specifically use a gaming chair. I can only speak to using my gaming chair. For me, I can't imagine streaming without this chair, quite frankly. Specifically, I have a very severe chronic pain condition. Because of that, I'm always in pain, and sitting down with my legs just flat on the ground is very challenging for me. So when I was looking for a gaming chair, I decided to look for one that had something that let me put my feet on. And this one that I used by Dark Echo, it's on Amazon, it has a slide out attachment where you could actually place your feet on. Now, admittedly, I don't use this feature as much as I thought I would. I actually have an ottoman under my desk that I use more often just because my desk height is so low, it's a little tricky to use the attachment with this one. But this chair is so comfortable. I stream for a long time. I do five, six hour streams and this chair is so very comfortable. It comes with a pillow. It actually has like a vibration feature. I've never used it, but you can. Um, it's really nice. It was a present for Christmas last year from my mom and I have used it every single day since. But there are lots of other really great gaming chairs. Once again, go to Amazon, read the reviews, find out specifically about the lumbar support and other kind of needs you might have if you have specific back pain or chronic pain like I do. And the last of the setup stuff is just kind of miscellaneous things that I think are nice to have. Specifically, if you're interested in streaming or making content, the first thing is a capture card. My capture card is plugged in, so I'll just pop it on the Screen. But I use an Elgato HD60S capture card. I have used this since the beginning of my YouTube channel. It has not 
led me wrong yet. But you'll need a capture card if you're planning on streaming gameplay footage that's not from your PC. So if you're playing on the Nintendo Switch specifically, you will need a capture card to stream. This one is really great. There are definitely ones that are more expensive than this. There are definitely ones that are less expensive than this. This one, I've been using it every single day for over a year at this point and it has held up. So that is why I recommend it. The other things are kind of just fun. I think having a ring light is super great. Specifically with most webcams, the best way to optimize your camera is to have good lighting. So even the best camera might not look that good if your lighting isn't that good. Personally, I don't even know the brand of my ring light because it's like a cheap one. It's probably the cheapest one you could get on Amazon. You really don't need crazy expensive lighting, especially when you're starting out. I would say just get any little ring light on Amazon. Specifically, I think ones that are great are ones that have both a camera attachment and one for your phone. So they're versatile and you can use it for multiple different things. The next thing is kind of just a fun thing, but I absolutely love it. I cannot, I cannot imagine how I went on without this, um, but my next recommendation is a stream deck. Now I have my stream deck right over here. This was gifted to me from my boyfriend, so shout out to him. My stream deck um, is one of the more expensive ones, but there is a simpler one that you can get as well. The stream deck pretty much is just this fun little thing of buttons that you can program to do different things while you're streaming or when you're filming videos. So me specifically, my stream deck, I've customized that all of the pictures are of sloths, which is fun. And what's nice about this is while I'm streaming, I go back and forth between a lot of different scenes to going to just the gameplay, to going to my face with the gameplay, to going with um, a counter, having like a physical counter on screen when I do something like villager hunting for Animal Crossing. This just lets me click a button and it lets me go up with the number. I also control my Spotify playlist from this. So if there's like a song that I don't like, I could skip it easy. I could do the volume here. This is really nice. It's not a must, nothing really is a must have. Fun, fun extra gadget for someone who likes tech things and specifically gaming. There are more simple ones and there are more extensive stream decks. I think I have the middle ground one. I love it. It, it has really made streaming a lot easier for me. And the last miscellaneous setup thing is kind of random, but it's probably one of the most used things on this list. And it's a subscription to Canva Pro. Now Canva is a free website that you can use for all of your graphic design purposes. However, Canva Pro gives you some really great tools. There is a monthly subscription. I pay for the monthly subscription. I use the heck out of it. I use Canva for every single thumbnail I've ever made. I use Canva for my logo. I use Canva for my overlays. I use Canva for my emotes. I use Canva for my merch designs. I use Canva for everything. Specifically, my favorite feature about Canva Pro is there is a super easy background mover tool, which is great because I always put my face in the thumbnails and having to like sit there and trace like to erase the background is annoying and it makes it easy for you. But among that, there are a lot of really adorable graphics you can use. I think a really nice gift for someone would be a Canva Pro subscription. And hey, there's also a free trial. So if you wanted to gift that to someone first, always cancel it if they didn't want to continue it. The final category is just cozy gaming miscellaneous item. And this is where you can really get personalized with whoever you're purchasing gifts for. For me, one of my recommendations, I really love Plushies, I have a lot of plushies in my setup. Squishmallows are great. I feel like most cozy gamers like Squishmallows. Gifting someone a Squishmallow of their favorite animal or like their favorite color, I think you can't really go wrong with. There are tiny Squishmallows, there are big Squishmallows. I feel like you could find something for everyone. Random, so specific, random, but my favorite thing though is a pillow pet, especially for cozy gaming. I love this pillow pet. Um, this is a sloth strawberry scented pillow pet. Not only is this just adorable for me to look at, but I found so much comfort having this on my lap while I'm streaming and while I'm playing games. It also is lightly scented like strawberry. So I love this one. <laughs> this is one of my very specific to me recommendations. I think when you're looking for like cozy miscellaneous items, really just think about what the person likes. For me specifically, like sloths are a thing here. so. Anything with a sloth in it that is cute for a desk. Like I have a sloth piggy bank. That that kind of stuff is really nice. Just 
to add to the overall cozy ambiance, but make it specific to the person you're gifting. Another thing that I think would be such a great gift for cozy gamers is art from the person's favorite game. I'll pop up on the screen now a lovely, lovely gift I was given that is art of my favorite character from Animal Crossing, Leaf the Sloth. I have it hanging on my wall right above my monitors now, and I always get to see it before I stream. And it just makes me feel so nice. And there are so, so many lovely, lovely talented artists, specifically on Etsy, where you could support them by buying their prints. And I think it's just such a nice way to celebrate your favorite cozy game without it being so like out there it's not like i have the animal crossing logo plastered everywhere it's a nice more subtle way for me to express my love of the game without it being so like in your face about it the last thing is a shameless plug okay i'm sorry but in case you're looking for some cute cozy gamer apparel i do have a merch shop that i recently opened i've worked on it for a long time it is called PeytonsCornerStore.com. It has a lot of specific to me and my channel stuff, but in case you have no idea who the heck I am, there are still some designs that I think cozy gamers will enjoy, specifically the cozy chaos line. This is my favorite because I truly believe cozy games can get very chaotic and I play cozy games in a chaotic way over here. So who doesn't wanna just be sipping their coffee or their tea like around the chaotic fire? I think I like it. I think it's a good one. As well as another personal favorite of mine is my chronically ill and cute collection. I found that a lot of you guys are like me. You are cozy game lovers who suffer from chronic illness of varying degrees. And so I always like to celebrate us in a way of calling us chronically ill and cute rather than making it a negative thing, putting a little bit of a positive spin on it. So I do have chronically ill and cute merch as well. And then some holiday specific stuff has just come out as well. So if you're interested, PeytonsCornerStore.com. I would appreciate you taking a look so very much. And there you guys have it. There is my range of cozy game gift ideas. I hope on this list you found at least one thing you're interested in for you or for a loved one or for a random stranger that likes cozy gaming. I tried to make this pretty wide going from games to setup miscellaneous all that good stuff so i really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down below what you as a cozy gamer want the most for this holiday season i want to know what am i missing because i also don't know what i want yet please be sure to click the lovely little like button on your way out as well as subscribe for more cozy chaotic content like this thank you all so much for watching i will see you in the next one bye bye